welcome. Welcome to Ineke. We didn't met uh, earlier, I think. <laughs> and uh, welcome Maya. Maya is my colleague who will um, take the lecture of Yol. Um, well, for the uh, um, uh, for the, the real um, introduction of NIMAT, our um, uh, professor Joel Stoffers, he made an introduction video yesterday evening for you. So I will put the link further in the chat. It's a YouTube uh, uh, video, but it's spoken in English, so we can uh, join them. Please put, uh, put down the camera and, the, and the mute. And when you uh, saw the, the uh, video, then please come back. Very good. It was, uh, that was short and sweet. Yes. <laughs> that was a good introduction. Yeah, there was a, a problem with uh, uh, research uh, Yol is working on. So um, we have our colleague Maya, who can tell us uh, a little bit more uh, about uh, NIMAT. Uh, Maya will also uh, provide a lecture tomorrow, uh, just about her expertise uh, on social capital in shrinking cities. But Maya, can you please tell the group something about NIMAT and the research and all the projects we do? <laughs> and you'd, sorry, you'd like us to switch off our cameras just now so that we can see only Maya. You, can, uh, you Maya. can keep your uh, cameras on if you wish, because I'm going to share a screen with you. Yeah, uh, but it's but better. It's better. Uh, um, we can uh, still recording. see. No. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, Maya. No, no, no problem. Uh, thank you. And uh, I mean, I haven't met you yet. Uh, I want to welcome you to a beautiful uh, digital environment. Uh, we are really sorry we can't welcome you in a, in a, a, a nice region of uh, Limburg and specifically into Heerle. It's a very special place. Let's hope this will be possible in the future. Um, my name is uh, Maya Rochak and I'm uh, working together with Joel Stoffers, which you just saw on YouTube film. Uh, we are both uh, uh, part of the scientific board of uh, NIMED and uh, have a slightly different expertise. So Joel uh, is interested in labor market and employability. Uh, which he was supposed to give you a lecture on today uh, uh, about uh, our regional labor market um, and uh, his social innovation monitor. Um, unfortunately, this is not my expertise, so I won't be able to say more about that, but I think maybe Linda can share uh, some documents with you about this or come back to it at some other uh, uh, point. Uh, but what I can do uh, is give you a little insight into what we do at NIMED. And I don't want it to be like a long presentation about, you know, all kinds of organizational issues, but just more of a little bit of a teaser, let's say, about um, uh, what we do and specifically why we do it. And, um, and maybe five, ten minutes or so, and then you, we can uh, uh, go to questions or something like that. Um, so I don't think we need a whole hour, but let's see how things go. I would now like to share just a few slides with you uh, because I find it always easier to follow, especially if I listen to someone digitally, it's quite uh, uh, challenging. Uh, so Joel already in his short YouTube movie told you a little bit about uh, NIMED and some things I will quickly, uh, uh, quickly uh, repeat. And that is that uh, uh, NIMED is cooperation on, of three biggest knowledge uh, centers or universities in the region. That's Zayed University, Open University and Maastricht University. And we find that extremely important because uh, this region, Limburg, or specifically Parkstadt Limburg, where Heerle is also uh, placed, um, has a lot of challenges, let's put it that way. Uh, my research, which I will tell you more about tomorrow, uh, was about uh, urban shrinkage or population decline and economic decline, specifically in areas that uh, uh, used to have mining history or uh, one industry history, let's say. So this is, a, this is, a, this is an issue that uh, nowadays still also uh, means there are some socioeconomic indicators that are uh, quite lower than national average. So there are, there are issues uh, with that. Uh, and this region also, uh, as maybe Linda already told you, we have an issue of uh, a population decline, 
sometimes goes up and down, but it's it's rather steady, uh, slow decline and uh, aging. So there are a lot of challenges, and therefore it is really important to to bundle all the knowledge together. Uh, from all these uh, uh, yeah, different organizations uh, in order to, to really uh, improve this uh, uh, resilience of the region. And this is what we stand for, for social economic li- resilience of Limburg region, which is all here in Dutch. So it also improves the Dutch a little bit. Um, so that's, uh, uh, that's what I wanted to say. And what we also find very important, uh, it's not only working together, but to have an organization such as NIMED, which is a, a socioeconomic knowledge center, so we do research as a core business, but at the same time, we also do different projects and uh, in which research is important component of. So in that way, uh, we really experiment and, and develop knowledge, let's say, as we go, and all with the goal of improving uh, uh, different issues, uh, issues in a region. And what we know from different research is that um, the different areas that uh, that are challenged with problems of uh, population decline, aging, economic uh, uh, decline, etc., often invest in what we call hardware, so uh, buildings, infrastructure, uh, uh, different uh, big economic projects, which is all very relevant. Uh, but at NIMED, we also like to focus on so-called software, and in particular, this human and social capital of a uh, region, of an area. So more like soft factors. Uh, so Joel, uh, uh, his line is more into employability and uh, regional labor markets, so human capital. What do we have in the region? What can we use? Where is that resilience that we can uh, find and build on? And uh, I focus more uh, uh, together with some colleagues, of course, on uh, social capital. So uh, w- what can we learn from the communities? Where, where are the resources in the communities uh, uh, themselves? Uh, so, so this is also what we, uh, what we like to uh, uh, yeah, combine. So this uh, experimenting with projects and then re- with research following them in order to develop yeah, knowledge that is useful, that we can apply to improve the situation in the region. Um, and another important thing that we want to achieve in this region from the days we started is that we want to be a little bit of a uh, of an actor who challenges, who comes with interesting ideas, poses sometimes maybe difficult questions. Um, and uh, uh, so we have different columns, uh, speakers, events, which are, you know, sometimes a little bit, uh, uh, in, yeah, how can I say it, uh, nice, interesting, eh? because uh, uh, we try to say and point, point out things that are maybe not so uh, uh, easy to hear for everybody. So that's also what we try to do. And this uh, organizational form of being affiliated to all of these universities, but still having our own, um, having an, our own uh, autonomy, uh, allows us this uh, platform, which is very nice for us. As a researcher, you can be very uh, creative in that. So this is just maybe a little bit of a repetition from you all, but now you know it very well. But uh, um, what Linda asked me to uh, to do also is to uh, look a little bit uh, further in our projects, which I will briefly do. And uh, please, uh, uh, these are just some um, some projects we do, but just to give you an idea, of, uh, uh, of what we do and how we do it. Um, also, all the information about these projects can be found on uh, uh, on our website. And of course, a lot of it is in Dutch, uh, uh, but also uh, also a lot of it is in English, some uh, international research papers, etc. So if you're interested, you can contact us and uh, ask for more information. Uh, but uh, as uh, uh, I just wanted to mention a few uh, bigger projects that we uh, finished uh, this year, for example, this is uh, uh, my research on social capital and urban shrinkage. So uh, how people in the areas that are faced with population and economic economic decline uh, react to this uh, situation and what does that do with their participation, with their empowerment, with the trust in the society, etc. Um, 
I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. Uh, a colleague of ours wrote a very interesting book, which had a lot of also um, also uh, national uh, interest um, attention. Um, and I, I translated it anti city, but it's uh, in Dutch antistad. So it's about different forms of urbanity and uh, uh, trans urban transformations. Uh, and this uh, this book is about Herle. It's very interesting. I hope it's going to be translated at some point. It provides a different point of view to what a city is and should be. And um, and I think this is also what we really want to achieve at Nijmegen different perspectives so uh, look from different points of view uh, not only from a, a, a multidisciplinary uh, yeah uh, uh, discourses in academia uh, uh, so uh, economics social sciences etc but also uh, from perspectives of citizens themselves policymakers etc because we really believe uh, that these different looking from different perspectives gives us uh, a lot of uh, gives us a lot of yeah uh, added value to the knowledge that we create. Um, some other projects we had uh, uh, they were also done this year. Young mothers in shrinking area. You might think like what, uh, but uh, also looking at the perspective of young mothers and uh, and and the, their agency. And, and how they uh, uh, yeah, contribute to the resilience of this area. And it's very interesting results there. I don't have time to go into it, but uh, uh, this, this is also all, all published in English. Uh, then, for example, we have living preferences of labor migrants, where we one of our colleagues looks at uh, 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 labor, so uh, 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 people that come into this region to work here, um, we have few of the uh, few big campuses where uh, higher educated people can work. So, what do they like? Uh, how how do they settle? Why? There's some really interesting and surprising uh, uh, results there. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's that's one one thing. Also, the same colleague uh, does research on personality traits of uh, uh, higher educated migrants, and also therefore, how do you match that with uh, with the regional needs uh, where do you put people how do you uh, uh, inform them about possibilities etc um, and we also develop some monitors i won't bother you too much with that uh, uh, but a lot of our research looks also in quality of life from the perspective of the perspective of the people themselves how do they define it etc uh, how can we improve it uh, and uh, a lot of it goes about is about active citizenship so how do we uh, give the power back to the people so in order they can that they can um, become active on basis of the intrinsic motivation and uh, uh, yeah and, and in that way also improve the place attachment to the to the area so this is some like really research uh, points and my last uh, slide uh, briefly very briefly i told you we don't only do research but we also do projects, huh? so that, that's why here I have NIMED research projects um, and uh, uh, in which, uh, for example, I will go to the second one, Gebroken Bos. Uh, it's a mouthful maybe, but uh, it's about the area in, uh, in Heerle uh, where the municipality said, and I think you probably heard about this already, but I will briefly mention from our perspective, uh, 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 research perspective as well. So it's uh, it's an area where some physical transformation should happen uh, in terms of uh, 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 some deconstruction, uh, some uh, uh, yeah maintenance of uh, big uh, space, uh, uh, public places, uh, and the municipality wanted to uh, do this uh, bottom up, so give people um, tools to do this. And you might say, oh, well, this is nothing new. This happens everywhere all the time. Uh, but uh, this was very intense. And also from the perspective of really changing roles and investing in uh, in, in uh, changing those uh, uh, power relations between different actors. And uh, this is really an interesting project. Uh, I'm sure Linda told you more about it, which we also uh, uh, put in mediators or uh, uh, boundary workers in there. To, uh, to mediate or to be uh, a translator, let's say, between these different actors. 
And we saw that that works really well. And so that was the project part uh, where something actually happened and there are so many initiatives, etc. And on the research uh, point of view, we follow this and, and write about it, analyze it. So this knowledge we create in the or knowledge and experience in the project part is then also translated into uh, 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 research, which we can then maybe use in other areas or share with the world, learn from each other, etc. Um, yeah, and because this was quite a, a successful um, project for the most of the uh, parties involved, a uh, similar method was, or the same method actually, but slightly similar uh, topic was uh, applied also in the city lab or stats lab, uh, Herle, as we call it, uh, where uh, the focus was on city centers. So how do we transform city centers, keep it livable, etc. But then uh, uh, with the focus on young entrepreneurs of young people doing uh, business, let's put it that way. And uh, yeah, so this was also very, uh, very interesting project with, again, mediators involved, etc. And from the uh, research point of view, Fionnaimet, we follow it again. Huh? So how does it work? What works? What did we learn? And now some new things happen, etc. So that's interesting. And another interesting project, uh, I'm almost done, is a regio deal or regional deal. Uh, so these are uh, funds from the uh, uh, national government that are given to the region. So as I already said, Parks at region has uh, issues with yeah, low socioeconomic status, etc. Uh, so national government gives some uh, funds in order to uh, uh, lift this socioeconomic status in the region so the discrepancy between national and regional is not so big anymore and uh, we are very lucky to be involved because there is a quantitative research uh, following a, a certain amount of indicators like to see whether this changes but we want to give it a story so we are going to uh, monitor and interpret okay what happens uh, with, with these projects that are then uh, um, uh, conducted. Uh, how can we interpret that uh, if we see that one indicator is going down or up, etc. And again, we do this from these different perspectives that we found so uh, so important. And last but not least, uh, we are involved in several projects uh, regarding EU regional issues. Um, and, and yeah, that's really uh, too bad that you didn't come to here, right? because then you would see that literally 20 minutes down the road is Germany. Uh, I don't know, from here, maybe 30 minutes. The other side is Belgium, so um, there are uh, a lot of borders around here, uh, especially now in times of Corona, we have experienced how uh, hard these borders can be. Uh, but normally they're open and everybody's free to work wherever they want, etc., live and so on. But there are still a lot of issues in terms of taxes, in terms of uh, uh, people crossing the borders, mental borders, etc. So it's not that uh, uh, so not that taken for granted. And this is what we uh, uh, research. And uh, uh, for example, at the moment also, how new uh, um, area law in the Netherlands will uh, uh, will impact this uh, 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 this new regional uh, movements. So anyway. Uh, again, uh, uh, welcome to digital uh, version of Herle. Uh, we are very happy to have you and uh, sorry that we cannot meet you uh, uh, real life. But uh, um, yeah, but I hope you will learn a lot, uh, a lot these days. And I hope you could follow me well. And if you have any questions uh, or remarks for me uh, at the moment, please uh, let me know. Thank you, Maya, for your introduction. We just have to wait when everyone is getting back. Thank you, Maya. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's nice to hear the story as a colleague, too. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's, ah, oh, okay, that's the overview. <laughs> I, hope, uh, I hope you get the idea, like, oh, I'm so happy I worked there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <Nice. laughs> Um, Frederik has tried to get in, but it's not working for him. And Gregor has just joined us. So welcome, Gregor. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 
Sorry, uh, Linda, you are for the hosting, but I'm just okay. checking if someone uh, uh, waves the hand or, or not, if there are any questions. Are there any questions? I will ask that. Mm -hmm. um, I see that Murray has a question, Frederic, no? Yeah. Yes. Hi, yes. Yes, I do. Um, if everybody can hear me, OK. Yeah, that was really interesting. Thank you very much for that. Um, really, really, uh, really useful background. I, it's coming from an economic development agency, it's sort of a government uh, quangle, if you like, uh, let's use the English term. Um, we have targets to deliver certain key aspects of uh, government policy. Are you given targets? Uh, by your funders to deliver certain things uh, to achieve certain key economic indicators, or are you are you in the fortunate position of being able to define your own activities? Uh, the the latter, the the second point. Oh. We uh, now it's not that black and white, of course. We we are really knowledge institutes, so in that way we have our targets but those are uh, uh, publication based and of course not only that but we really uh, uh, want to spread the word and in that respect we do a lot of more uh, uh, easy to access uh, yeah sharing of knowledge in terms of events and etc uh, so so that's our core business let's say and the projects we are involved in of course they have targets uh, and Alinda can also tell you about that. Huh? And, uh, there's also always negotiation in terms of, for example, uh, OK, if this project is su successful, if we reach that many initiatives or if the evaluation goes this way, et cetera, et cetera, depending on the goal. But, um, but th those are really specific project targets. And for the rest, we are just uh, monitoring, interpreting uh, through our research activities. So in that way, we don't have... Uh, uh, economic targets, for example, what you what you mentioned in terms of yeah, we need to improve. Uh, but do, we do, you know, like we turn, we want to uh, produce useful knowledge so people who are in these positions, policymakers, etc., uh, can make informed decisions in order to hopefully then indeed improve yeah. this. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, you're very lucky in that regard that you've got that flexibility to do. Uh, it, it, apart from the projects that you that you're involved with, obviously that have specific project targets, yeah. Yeah, and of course, uh, uh, it, it's also I you, you know how this world works. Also, it's also negotiation. Huh? We uh, 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 the research projects uh, uh, we do uh, get or the research questions we do have to. Um, uh, uh, negotiate those with the policymakers. They are interested in specific uh, uh, in specific topic. This can change, etc. So, yeah, it is a game of uh, 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 yeah, trying to do the best and still uh, yeah, make sure you you can uh, pay your people working for you. So yeah, indeed. Yeah. Maya, sorry, is it necessary that you still share the uh, documents? Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no problem. Of course not. Just, no, um, thank you for uh, saying no, that. That's, that's why I'm here, then I can see if uh, someone uh, uh, waves his hand or, or not. Thank you, so we can see each other. Again. Is this better now? It's uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, perfect. It's, thank you. Sorry, thank you. Didn't, thank you. didn't notice that. Um, Frederick has uh, gotten in. Welcome. Um, you waved your hand also. Yes, uh, um, I had a few questions. I, w I wondered in terms of methodology, how, how do you, I mean, how do you do to link the academics with the, with the ground? Are you doing like experiments and, and okay, how do you link the academic side and the ground? Uh, that's one question. Mm -hmm. um, uh, m most of our research, uh, if not all, uh, is uh, qualitative uh, research from that uh, uh, yeah, social constructivist uh, perspective, let's say, epistemological background. So that means basically that qua methods that we use, we, uh, we do a lot of interviewing, uh, participant observation, action research, and uh, which really then also meets the goals of our organization. Huh? So we are on the ground talking to people, uh, looking at what's happening and, uh, and, and as such uh, collecting our data often. Uh, however, there are of course some other uh, uh, topics, for example, you all could, uh, could have uh, told you more about this. 
Um, he's involved in some uh, 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 socioeconomic monitors in the region. And what he does then is uh, uh, more, uh, uh, some of these are really, yeah, some of these questions are better answered with, for example, quantitative methods. But uh, and these projects I've mentioned and uh, how we work uh, there, that's mostly uh, qualitative uh, data collection methods from this specific epistemological stance. Yeah. Okay. And do you so you make hypotheses, uh, or do you work on the ground of other people? Uh, inputs. Uh, yeah. 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 It depends. Uh, 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 mostly is uh, uh, yeah. Mostly is case study based. I would have to say. Okay. Uh, so, uh, for example, such a project as Hale uh, City Lab starts of before it starts. We start following important stakeholders and then you know uh, uh, the questions develop uh, uh, and the data collection develops uh, etc and um, sometimes we would work with the hypothesis but not always uh, 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 from the beginning let's say so it's it's a lot of a uh, uh, yeah case study i think would be a good way to uh, to describe it and tomorrow i will tell you a little bit more about my research which uh, i did comparative case studies so maybe it gives them also a little bit more Content related. Uh, okay, and uh, and then the habitants. It's my like uh, the habitants. They they participate. They they don't just. Do you make them participate? Do something. Uh, you have an example of that. Yeah, or is so just uh, inquire um, surveys. No, no, it's uh, it's this combination. That's why we are some kind of a hybrid organization. It's this combination of, for example. Uh, we do a project, which means, uh, uh, for example, with Gebroken Bos, there is an area in here that something needs to happen with it. So, you know, let's try to involve citizens. Do they want to do something with it? Do they want to maintain it, etc.? So there is this very clear project aspect to it, and some colleagues work on this project. Like, okay, let's talk to people, let's involve them, let's, you know, uh, maintain the land, stuff, really concrete stuff like that. Uh, and there are colleagues, researchers, who follow them, and then who talk to them, who talk to the citizens that are involved, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there is this two-layer approach, uh, if you wish. The, you. Most of the time, this is not always. Sometimes we have really clear research question. Yeah, then we would do some uh, data collection. That's it. But we really try to uh, um, develop this combined uh, uh, approach. Thank you for your questions. There's no one raising his hand. Only Frederick still, but I think that's was your question or not, Frederick? No, okay. <laughs> um so are there any questions further? No? No one? Okay, then I will give the word again to Linda. Maybe you want to add something. Yeah, you're still muted, uh, Linda. I'm sorry. This I see everything. <laughs> yeah, I know, Monique. I know. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> That's a problem. Uh, as uh, uh, Maya uh, told, we are working in projects, and our researchers are always investigating. Okay, and and always questioning. Okay, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Why did you go left? Why did you go right? <laughs> and in, in the beginning, it was really annoying but and difficult, but it uh, helps to um, uh, just find out for yourself, OK, uh, what am I doing? Why are, uh, am I making this decision? Um, what's, what's the worth of it? What's the value of it? Um, uh, and that's really helpful for yourself, for our team, but also for the initiatives and the stakeholders uh, we have. So I think that's a very special thing about uh, the way we uh, we work. So I learn a lot uh, at NIMAT. <laughs> so yes, Maya, I'm happy to be your colleague. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this, uh, yeah. This aspect of 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 uh, indeed, indeed yeah uh, uh, being uh, projects and research being so intervened indeed uh, creates a lot of reflection and uh, as such some kind of uh, action research aspects to it which is uh, yeah at the same time then improving the projects yeah 
and with the whole team we are learning <laughs> yes yeah. uh, with with our coffee with our team coffee with we are learning uh, uh, every day and that's and that's very special and fun it's really fun yeah. if there aren't any questions i think we are Ready? Oh, Frederick is doing something. Yeah, again, again, yeah. sorry. <laughs> again, yeah. Uh, I, I, in the summary, I, I read that um, yeah, you would like to to scale it scale it up potentially in other regions. Could you say a word about it? Or I mean, there is interest to scaling up. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Some projects uh, uh, that we follow, uh, we uh, see that things work well. For example, in this broker, both this mediating function and brokers, uh, we call them. Uh, uh, and uh, in between, for example, citizens and policymakers. Uh, and this has received a lot of attention uh, in uh, in the region, for example. And we were approached by other municipalities, other uh, uh, yeah regional government as well, in order to. Uh, share more about this uh, and also with an idea like let's try let's try to do it in the whole city let's try to do it on a regional level so in that way it's sort of upscaling and of course we all know you can't just copy paste things from one place to another and hope it works uh, also in the same place things change we see a lot is uh, uh, really directly linked to the person doing it uh, but at the same time, there are some working elements in there that uh, uh, that are very uh, interesting, and uh, and in that way, uh, uh, yeah, could be used in other in other places. And that's what we mean with uh, with upscaling, basically sharing the knowledge and uh, hoping that others also can uh, benefit from it. I guess that's, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, my mute doesn't work that quick. I don't know what's what's the thing, but um, yes, thank you, thank you, Maya. Um, thank you for having me. Thank you for your questions and attention. And I will see you tomorrow morning when we talk about some uh, research we did. And in the uh, program, uh, the, the planning, what we uh, send you, uh, there is also a link to the publication of the ah. uh, research for, uh, of Maya. Um, so you can uh, read it uh, tonight, everyone. It's only 200 <laughs> pages. Yeah. <laughs> um, in the chat, I uh, invited you to follow us on LinkedIn, um, uh, on the, the NIMAT page. Um, we are also sharing the information about this meeting and uh, probably also the, um, the records uh, also on LinkedIn. So um, if you please follow us down there. We have, we, our target was 200 followers before summer, and now we have 310, so come on. <laughs> <You have to help. laughs>